Hello, it's Don Spita, back with a step-by-step -step vector art tutorial for you on how to color and shape a line art in Adobe Illustrator using just mouse. And without further ado, let's get into it. So we have this line work from the previous tutorial. If you haven't watched how I drew this, click on the top right corner of your screen to watch it right now. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Before we proceed, Check if your lines are all connected or closed up so you don't have problems later when coloring your line work. All right. Grab a selection tool and select everything. Then go to Object, click on Expand Appearance, go to Pathfinder and hit Merge. If you can't see, Pathfind on this panel, come to Windows here and you'll find Pathfinder down here. Now drag the line art layer onto the new layer icon here to make a copy. Lock the copy and double click on the fill tool to choose a skin tone to apply on the line work. Then grab a rectangle tool and drag it over the line work. Right click on it, and go to arrange, and then click on send to back. Again, select everything using selection tool and go to pathfinder and click merge. Right click on the rectangle and click isolate selected group to go into isolation mode. Click on the rectangle and press the bit key on your keyboard to remove it. Now the coloring process begins. Hold down shift to select both eyes and make these parts white just around here. I'm going to use gradient to make this eye effect. Choose this reddish pink color and make it fade into the white color. Adjust the fade by moving the slider to the left or right. We will do the same on the other side. It gives the eyes a little bit of a realistic look when you do it like this. So that's why I chose to make it like this. Hold down shift and select these two parts and apply light blue color. I will make the earrings gold. Color the teeth with this white color, but not regular plain white. I'll make this one light green. Color the lips too. So we are done coloring. Lock this layer and create a new one on top of it for you to start shading. During this shading phase, 
we will only use the pencil tool throughout we start the darkest shadows first grab an eyedropper tool and sample the skin tone on the face double click on the fill tool to open the color picker and choose the darkest skin tone down here and click ok now turn off the base color below and only make the photo layer visible so you can draw the shadows directly where you see them on the face now grab your pencil tool and let's begin here Just its smoothness. Let's make it darker, more darker. Come this side and do the same and draw. Do the shadow blow the nose. And blow the ears. Also blow the lips. Always turn on the base color to see how it looks and proceed. You will draw here. If you're done with the dark shadows, drop the layer and create a new one below it. Again, sample the skin tone using eyedropper tool. Bring it down here. Not too dark and click OK. Turn off the base color. Start shading the same way, like in layer 4 up here. Use direct selection tool to make adjustments a little bit. Let's see. Perfect. Continue.
done. Now lock this layer, which is layer five, and again, create a new one below it. Sample the skin tone and pick this color. Turn off the base color and start shading. Let's see how it looks. This is too dark. Let's select and adjust it a little bit. This is perfect. Continue. Lock this layer and create a new highlights layer above all the shadow layers, just below the copy of line art layer. Sample the skin tone and pick the light skin tone all the way up here. Click OK. Turn off the base color again and begin shading. We will shade the lips, including the teeth, same way we did with the rest.
All right, this looks beautiful. Drop the layer and create a new one on top of all the layers to shade the hair. Use the gradient to edit the stroke. Make both sides of the gradient black and put a white color in between. Reduce its opacity to 30 or 40 percent. Turn off all the layers except line art and photo layers. Now grab your pencil tool and start drawing where the light falls on the hair like this. Press Alt key on your keyboard to make copies. Right. This looks amazing. The hair now looks good. We will create a layer for the background and place it above the photo layer down here. Select the rectangle tool and drag it to fill the artboard like this. Turn off the stroke and only use the fill tool to pick a color for the background. All right, this is amazing. And we are done. That's it for this video. Now you can click on the screen right now if you want to learn more about vector art drawing with just mouse and watch more videos just like this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.